intro so many times. Ah! I'm a mess. Such a mess. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. So much for joining me, it's your auntie Ling Ling. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry that I sound so weird. I've got a cold, so my throat and my nasal and everything is just all blah, blah, blah. So I'm really sorry that I sound very phlegmy and disgusting. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a chit chat, get ready with me. And whilst I am getting ready, I thought it'd be fun to also answer some of your questions. I asked you guys on Instagram. Our little family on YouTube is growing day by day. And I just feel like, do you know what? I feel like it's time to do a little bit more chit chat, get ready with me. That way you guys get to know me on more on a personal level rather than just me testing out makeup and I would also love to get to know you guys as well so my question to you guys is what is your favorite foundation I would love to know what your favorite foundation is if you just comment down below that way I can check it out as well and I would also love to try it out so without further ado let's begin so before I start my full-on makeup tutorial first I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by one of my favorite brands and I think you guys know who it is it is Oreo <laughs> now I only work with brands that I truly believe in if there's a brand that you you love out there and they contacted you to work with of course you're gonna say yes so that's how I feel with Foreo. This little product over here is called the Luna Mini 2 and I've been using this particular product literally the same product for the past two years. What this does is that it helps cleanse your skin so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Origins Checks and Balances Cleanser. You can use any cleanser you want. You can use a gel cleanser, a cream cleanser, foam cleanser, oil cleanser, literally any cleanser that you want. So I'm only gonna use that much. So now that my face is nice and moist I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Foreo Luna Mini 2 on and what this does is that it pulsates. It's gonna get rid of all that bacteria, all that oil, all that gunk and everything and all the pollution because I live in London. It's gonna help deep cleanse my skin and it's very important to clean your skin properly before you apply your makeup. I like to apply my makeup on with nice clean skin that way the makeup sits better on my face and I also start to work out a lot more as well so it's very important for me to clean my skin after I work out otherwise the sweat is just gonna stay on my skin and just gonna end up breaking out and using the Foreo Luna Mini 2 really has helped kept my skin clear over the years. Super gentle to the skin as well it doesn't feel like it's hurt in my skin because it's made out of silicon it's very hygienic so built up of bacteria not possible and now I am done I'm gonna go rinse my face off my skin is feeling so nice and clean so if you guys are interested in checking out the Foreo Luna Mini 2 I will leave a link down in the description box and if you have any questions as well please let me know so I'm just gonna prep my eyes by putting on some eye cream I'm using the beauty pie eye cream I'll leave all the information down below in the description box question number one is from Emma and she asks me how did I build my confidence over the years and that is such a good question because I feel like everyone's life experience when it comes to building confidence is very very different so how I manage to build my confidence and to be honest guys I'm gonna be real with you all I'm still trying to build my confidence because there's been so many times where I am so harsh on myself and I literally just you know lose myself it's it's very weird it's like I have these weird stages in my life where I'm so confident and I believe in myself and I don't give a shit what other people say about me and then for some reason this little voice in my head kind of overtakes the positive thoughts in my head and I just kind of lose myself and you know what it's so hard to build confidence but I feel like the number one tip is recognize why you are losing your confidence and I think that's very important ask yourself why all of a sudden you don't feel confident or why do you not feel confident instead of being hard on yourself be proud of yourself and it's so hard to say that to yourself because I know because you don't want to sound cocky you don't want to sound egotistical you know what sometimes every now and again you really need to put yourself first and understand that you deserve to be happy and that you deserve to own it like you deserve to be like yes I look good today or yes I know I can nail this exam one of the best quotes that has stuck by me over the years is the more you care less what other people say the more you live and I feel like if you just keep repeating that to yourself you kind of live your life a bit more and then you just end up being confident and you just end up not getting what people say so that is like my advice and I hope that helps so I'm just moisturizing my skin using the origins clear improvement oil free moisturizer this is such a good lightweight moisturizer for anyone who's got oily skin I'm not gonna lie guys now that I've lost like a nail it's so easy for me to pick up cream and moisturizers so media I think that's how you say your name <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't say your name she asked me can you show us your studio because I struggle with the lighting when I want to film 
film. So I actually filmed a full on dedicated YouTube video about how to film in your room. And if you're like me, where you want to film in the evening and you can't afford a ring light or soft boxes, look into getting a Ricky light. This Ricky light has lighting and you can literally like, like a ring light kind of, and it goes like really harsh or it goes really low. It's really cool, I love this. I'll leave a link down below just in case you guys are interested. I like to wait for at least five to 10 minutes for my moisturizer to like properly sink into my skin. That way my skin is nice and soft and smooth. That way I can put on my foundation and primer and everything and everything just goes on like butter. Angie asks me, how do you find a good bronzer that doesn't make you dirty? That's such a good question. So the way I like to find a bronzer that doesn't make you look dirty is that you got to look at the undertone and you got to know what undertone you are as well. So for me, I am like yellowish golden undertone. So I will go for a bronzer that is yellowish golden undertone as well. And yeah, that is how you find a bronzer. So if you're like me, where when you tan and you go red undertone and you lose your goldenness, then that means that you have to go for a bronzer that's red undertone. So it's really annoying because it's like, I have to have like two separate types of bronzers. So like when I lose my tan, I can use the yellowish golden undertone bronzers. But when I have my tan on and I go red undertone, then I have to use a different tone of bronzer. Jane asks me, how am I so motivated to do YouTube videos? To be honest, guys, I find it hard to stay motivated. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be real with you all. Like I struggle on a daily just trying to figure out what type of videos you guys want to watch. And the only way I make myself motivated is that I gotta remember that I have people relying on me for income so like I have Nathan who works for me full time I have a part-time PA and it's like these people rely on me for income like they need money to live and I feel like that's my biggest motivation so it's a mixture of money and it's a mixture of like helping my staff as well and I feel like because I've got such a good group of friends who also do influencing as well that's what motivates me to keep going on when I see them working it makes me want to work so I mean I don't want to complain but I do feel like my views aren't that great but I still produce YouTube videos because I know in the long time, I know it's gonna be worthwhile. And again, I don't wanna complain because I don't want people to think, oh, Ling thinks she has shit YouTube views when some people might think I, I might have good YouTube views, but I feel like my YouTube views are quite decent and very like mellow. You can either use views and subscriber accounts to motivate you, or you can motivate yourself by thinking, do you know what? This is lacking in the community and I need to produce YouTube videos to help other people out there. It really depends on how you look at YouTube and what you wanna achieve out of it. I know for a fact that in the long term, like. I don't really want to chase views or subscriber accounts. I want to build a community and create videos for people who feel a bit sad or they feel like they need like a friend. I want to create a bunch of videos to help someone feel good about themselves. So it just really depends on what your goal is and whatever your goal is, stick to it and that will help you stay motivated. I'm gonna use the Fenty concealer. Love this concealer. I feel like I need to get more of these. And I need to get one to contour my face because it's so nice and creamy. Look at that. Bags be gone. Oh my god, guys, it's so hot in here. I can feel my foundation melting already. So I need to quickly blend this all out and put lots of powder on so it doesn't budge. So Jess asks me, would I ever consider cosmetic surgery? And to be honest, yes, I would. I would only consider cosmetic surgery when I really, really need to. If I was to have kids and my boobs started to go saggy and all sorts then I'll definitely get a boob job that's for sure because I feel like boobs I love boobs okay I love a good set of racks but I feel like if I was to lose my boob like growing up I never had a bum never ever ever but I've always had quite decent sized boobs but I have like quite smallish like little melon that's how I want to call them and I've never had a problem with them and I've always been proud of my boobs so if I was to ever like lose my boobs especially after pregnancy then yeah I'll definitely consider surgery I'm gonna use a little bit of Lara Mercier and I've had this for literally I think three years now and I refuse to throw her away. I know the pot is like, you know, literally describing my life right now. Laura Mercier is expensive. Why would I want to throw this bottle away? Bottle? Not bottle, it's a pot. Whilst I am baking, I'm actually gonna go ahead and play around with some new makeup. Oh yes, I'm gonna play around with the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation powder. Now, I I am so happy that Too Faced have expanded the Born This Way range because I absolutely love it. Oh, just on time. Bell didn't go whilst I was talking, oh yeah. So these are the three shades. I think I'm gonna go for the one in the middle. I also got this brush sent to me as well, but I don't know how to use this because this is like a contour brush, but I'm just gonna give it a whirl and see if this can help set my base. Ooh, okay, very stiff. No, I think I'm gonna use a fluffy brush for this actually. I'm gonna save this for contouring or bronze in my face. Yeah? You're not hungry or anything? No, I'm not hungry, I'm fine. You're okay, Daniel. 
Yeah, I'll be okay. So the shade Natural Beige is not really for me, so I'm gonna stop using that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just use Light Beige all over my face. It was going a little bit peachy undertone, which is not bad. It doesn't look horrible or anything, but it's just that I, I just don't like it. So I'm gonna use this shade and just pat it underneath my eyes while sweeping away the Laura Mercier. I'm trying to achieve the most matte base look ever. So I'm gonna be real with you guys. I actually don't have a proper judgment of this powder. I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more, then I'll let you guys know whether I like it or not so make sure you guys follow me on like instagram and regularly check out my instagram stories because i tend to do some reviews on there so yeah i mean right now i just i don't know it just doesn't seem to wow me and i think the reason why it's not wowing me is because i've probably got foundation on already but i saw loads of people use it as well their skin does look very like flawless and i gotta say my skin does look very matte and very now to get rid of the powdery look, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Makeup Revolution by Jake Jamie Britza. Mm. I'm now gonna try filling my brows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade six. Sometimes I struggle doing my eyebrows on camera. Who else is like that? So Chin asks me, what is my dream job before doing Instagram and YouTube? To be honest, none. Nothing was my dream job. My dream job or like my idea of a dream job would be, I just really wanted to help people. I don't want to sound really cheesy or anything like that, but that was what I really wanted to do. Like that's honestly how I felt when I was trying to find a job. Like I didn't want to do a job just to make money. I wanted to do a job where there was a purpose and I was achieving something out of it. I'm going to set my eyebrow hairs using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is the most important part of a brow routine. You need to set it and use a gel because it's going to help make the brow hair looks thicker, filler, and darkens them as well. So Medea asked me a really good question and that is how do you deal with fake people? Oh my god, you know what? When I left high school, I thought, yay, left high school, no need to deal with fake people and assholes and bullies anymore. No, when you become an adult, it's even worse. <laughs> I feel like the best way to deal with fake people is to understand that you do not need them in your life. If someone mistreats you and doesn't respect you, then that's a sign that you don't need them in your life. I've dealt with quite a few fake people in my life. Not loads, but enough to make me think, do you know what? I don't need you. You're unnecessary energy. And it's awkward seeing them at events as well because you literally, you say hi to everyone, but you don't say hi to that person. And it is, it feels awkward. But the thing is, you just got to be like, do you know what? This is like, kind of have to accept that this is how it works in a weird way. I know that's something you guys probably don't want to hear. But in order to deal with fake people is to literally be like, okay, you're here in the same room with me. I'm not gonna side eye you, but I'm gonna be respectful and kindly ignore you. CLO asks me, what do you do when you cooperate with a brand and you don't like the product? Simple, I just tell the brand I don't like the product. And if they're gonna be immature about it, then that's down to them. If I don't like a product, then I'm not gonna promote it. Simple as that. And you know, if the brand gets upset, then there's not much I can do. You can either deal with things two ways. You can either get upset about it or you can deal with it professionally and be like, do you know what? Lynn doesn't like this product, but it's okay. Next product that we launch, maybe she'll like that in a few so I've been using this blusher palette from Ofra. So I don't really use Ofra, but I'm starting to use Ofra a little bit more often because they started to send me PR, which big thank you to Ofra for doing that. They sent me this palette called Island Time. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I mean, I love blushes. I feel like blushes, they really bring out my skin tone and it really like brings out the youthfulness in me as well. <laughs> you know I'm old. This is 25 guys. Oh. And I've been mixing this colour with this colour. Quite pigmented so you do have to be very light handed with it. And it's a little bit I put my cheeks as well. So Bianca asks me how do I accept my mono lids? That is such a good question because I feel like a lot of Asian girls who have mono lids they have a hard time loving their eyes because in Asia it's very well known that double eyelid surgery can make you look beautiful and I think that's not BS. I don't want to say that because I don't want anyone to like kill me. But it's just that, you know, if you're Asian and you feel like having double eyelids is beautiful, then I'm all for that. Like I support you. But for the people who have monolids and they have a hard time accepting it, that's an issue. It took me a very long time to accept my monolids. And the reason why I say it took me a long time is because I went to a Western school. So 
so I went to a school where there were loads of like blacks, Indians, uh, whites, but there were like hardly any Asians. So the group of friends that I had in high school, they were all like white, blacks and mixed race. And they all had big, beautiful eyes with long lashes. As for me, I was like the complete opposite. I had monolid, itty bitty baby lashes and whatever eye makeup they'd have, it wouldn't suit me. And when I first started to discover YouTube, all the YouTubers back in the day, I'm talking like 10, 11 years ago, there wasn't anyone with monolids doing YouTube. So I, I struggled daily accepting my monolids. But now that I have spent loads of time doing my makeup, learn how to do my makeup, that's when I start to accept it. So I feel like in order to accept your monolids is understand that you have a monolid. And I have met so many crappy makeup artists in the past who couldn't do my eye makeup. And that pushed me to learn how to do makeup. So that's one of the reasons why I do makeup. So now that we're on the topic of eyes, let me do my eyeshadow and let me show you guys how to do a bold, colorful eye look on a monolid. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Neon Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know what this one's called actually. I have no idea what brush this is because usually Morphe labels their brushes. But this one isn't, I promise you it is from Morphe. It's not a fake Morphe brush, but it is a tapered eyeshadow brush. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your eyes open. The thing with monolids is that you have to make sure that your eyes are open whilst doing your eyeshadow. That way you can see how much shadow to bring up to your eyebrow or how much shadow to bring down to your eyelid. So I'm zooming you in so you guys can see. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna raise your eyebrow and then you're gonna get the mirror and you're gonna look down so you can see your whole entire eyelid. What I recommend is getting your little finger and lightly press on your eye and then try find that bone. I'm gonna use my nail, it's gonna look so gross, but I'm gonna like poke this part so you guys can see. You see this part right here? That's where you're gonna put that eyeshadow first and that's gonna be your transition, your base, your step one. And you're gonna push the product into that part of your eye. You're just gonna press it in and make sure your eyebrows are like lifted up as well. And then lightly blend it out. And you're just gonna blend it left, right, left, right. Oh yeah. And that is the first step. So you understand why my eyes are open at all times. It's because I can see how much shadow to apply and how far up should I go to touch my eyebrow. So obviously I don't want my eyeshadow to touch my eyebrow because I want to leave a little bit of a gap. So that is step one. I'm now going to go in with a smaller brush. So anyone with small eyes, you have to have loads of eyeshadow brushes that are quite small. And I recommend going into Morphe, Smashbox, so Weaver. They have the best small eyeshadow brushes for our eyelids. If you're looking for a brush that's more affordable, then I recommend looking into Mars. You can get these in Boots. This is quite a small little brush as well. And I'm going to use a darker shade. And then just like where I applied the pink eyeshadow, the first one, I'm going to deepen it. And this is going to help create an illusion of a double eyelid, shall I say. It's not really a double eyelid, but it's an illusion. And then with a really light hand, I'm just going to blend this eyeshadow around. Do you know what? I'm so glad that someone asked me how to accept your monolids because I feel like not many people talk about monolids. So it is a lot of practice and it is a lot of playing around with makeup when it comes to having a monolid. But once you've mastered this simple technique, like finding where to put that eyeshadow, how much eyeshadow to put on, it will be a breeze to do eyeshadow. I'm going to be a little bit adventurous with my eye look. I'm going to do some sort of weird eyeliner using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Wait, is this flip Fly Liner? What is this car? Vivid Liquid Eyeliner, not Fly Liner. What is wrong with me? So this is the best I can do with my eyeliner. Not bad for a first try. This is the first time I'm doing like a graphic wing liner. I don't know what made me want to do this, but I just wanted to do something different and fun. I'm going to go ahead and apply the new Lottie Times Huda Beauty Silk Lashes. These lashes look insane. Insane. Open. Yes, your broken nails. Victoria asks me, can I speak Chinese? What's it, Gong? Sil Sil. Anyone who's Chinese, they'll know what I'm saying. Oh my god, this question could not come at the most perfect time. Angie asks me, how the fuck to put on eyelashes? So this is how you put on eyelashes, girl. So when you get your eyelashes, make sure you measure them and make sure that they fit your eye, as in like the size. So if you've got a trim some, make sure you trim some. And then you put the glue on, the actual bag. You gotta wait for at least like 10, 20 seconds for it to go a little bit tacky. And then this is the most important trick, right? So I like to use tweezers. Some people can use their fingers, but I like to use tweezers because it's just like more precise. Get the mirror and you literally put it like underneath your chin kind of. So it's like that. And then you kind of look down and then you can see your whole entire like lash line in the mirror. And then you can go ahead 
and just apply the lash just on top of your real lashes and then with the help of the tweezers you can just like maneuver the lash around it's a lot of practice i mean it took me like five years to figure out how to put on eyelashes lakshmi i think that's how you say your name so sorry that i'm not pronouncing it right what advice do you have for young women of color who is struggling to love the skin that she's in i totally understand where you are coming from when it comes to that i was very insecure of where i'm from because i am chinese vietnamese and i grew up in a school where there wasn't that many people who came from you know where my parents are from so it took me a really long time to accept myself and the advice that i would give personally is do not compare yourself to other people do not look at yourself in the mirror and think i am ashamed of myself because you shouldn't be saying that to yourself look at the positives of where you're from like i'm chinese and vietnamese and i used to get bullied so much of where i'm from like kids say a lot of mean things like kids were saying things like oh did you have dog chow mein for dinner and stuff like that and it was so hurtful because it's like it made me think wow is that what my culture is all about is that what people think of china and vietnam they think oh we just eat dogs and cats and everything so i can only talk from my own experience of how to accept myself and how to accept my race is that i started to focus on the positives of where i am from so being chinese and vietnamese load of history we've been through a lot we created so many amazing things for the rest of the world yeah a lot of people will say things about where i'm from and they can be bullies and assholes about it but at the end of the day what they think of me doesn't define who i actually am and i think that's really important and i think that's what you should tell yourself on a daily basis i mean i really hope that advice was helpful if not i'm really sorry <laughs> i'm gonna line my lips using oak mac lip liner and i'm gonna use my favorite lipstick which is the mua super nude lipstick love this color because what eye makeup is like so like I'm gonna go ahead and just use something quite subtle on the lips. And I'm gonna use a Too Faced All The Stars lip gloss and just add a little bang. Mmm, look at that. So that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoy this chit chat, get ready with me. And I hope I answered your guys' questions really well. I mean, I know some of the questions were quite deep, but I really wanted to answer those questions because I felt like they were really important. And like, I just feel very privileged that some of you guys would ask me these types of questions about how to accept your monolids and how to gain confidence and how to be proud of your own skin i really hope i answered your questions really well <laughs> praying literally and i hope you like this makeup look as well i've never done anything like this before don't forget to check out my other videos as well it means so much to me if you check out my previous videos and please subscribe as well if you're new i shall see you in the next one Mwah.